Can you comment on uh, Tyson, Mike Tyson? Oh, so, yeah, that thing. <laughs> so uh, first, so he, uh, there's two things I want to, so he's mm-hmm. a, in terms of fear, there's a clip there, I think from a documentary where he talks mm-hmm. about he is like fully afraid as he walks up to the ring and as he gets closer and closer and closer, he gets more confident until he gets in and he's a god or something like that. Mm. That coupled with his statement on Joe Rogan that he gets aroused uh, at the possibility of true, like of hurting somebody in mm-hmm. the ring. So like he gets aroused at the violence. Yeah, uh, so I like it because it's coupled to your basically statement that we need to own to find our own unique way of existing at our top level of performance. And that perhaps is Mike Tyson. But do you think there's something more deeply universal to the the Mike Tyson speaking to the fact that he's aroused at the Ye- possibility of yeah, violence? Yeah, I do actually. Uh, although I don't think that it always equates to arousal <laughs> for people. In fact, I would say in general, it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, I can say I've never had a boner in the ring. In fact, if anything, you know, old combat cock is like, we're not hanging around. We're yeah. leaving. We're going up. Yeah. We're taking off. Yeah. We don't want anything to do with this. Yes. You have fun. Come back yeah. to us when you yeah. have something uh, warmer, softer, smells better. Yeah. But um, the power, the feeling of aliveness. Yeah. I could see it. It being, you know, back to the, even the concept of the Ubermensch. I feel like the states, the highest states of being I've ever been in were in the midst of conflict. I felt like that was the time, those are the those are the moments in my life where I felt like I was at the highest level of, of being as a human in existence. But yet, even being in that state was not, it was not something that you could interact with people that weren't in that state with you. Like they wouldn't get it. You would almost seem, and to be that way all the time, either A, might drive you mad, or B, is you're not, you're something that's untenable to the rest of society. Like you can't function with everybody else. It will not work. It's just like you said with the Ubermensch, it's like it's perhaps that ideal is not something you can hold for long. That's the, the very nature of it is. Yeah, well, there was an example in The Spoke Zarathustra about a snake being down the person's throat and biting it and then having this maniacal laughter erupting. And, you know, to me it was, at least I read it as, yeah, okay, there's this insane moment that isn't forever, but that it is life and death and it is and and the overcoming it is the thing that all of a sudden gives you that tapping into the, the your your highest state, right? This is, you know, man is uh, a chasm, uh, a tightrope between uh man and ubermensch. 